Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Shadowmoon Estates, where, again tonight, we'll be doing another armor test. This time, on a coat of plates. Within the Emperor's Rulebook, this one is the light gauge, which reaches us a base of 4. And this one here is our heavy gauge, which reaches a point value of 5. Today, we'll be slicing it with our one-ended um, short sword. The, as usual, fireman's axe. The corbeal and the Dane's Axe ordered by John. If all else fails. If we don't kill them beforehand. So we'll first start off with the Light, which is four points. Turn it so it faces towards you, because that would be the way that we'd actually be fighting in combat against it. Yeah, something like that, eh? Yep. Yeah. So, I actually chopped off a piece of the rivet with that one. <laughs> but we did not make it through with the sword slash. There's damage to the leather, but nowhere near all the way through. Bother with the stab, yeah. The tip's okay, actually. Okay, so actual recap, he managed to actually dislodge the memory card when he swung the axe. <laughs> okay, f flip that over. <laughs> well, the blade is dished, it is split, and we actually went into the gamison through both layers and created a dent in the stuff. So if it knocks at a memory card, it'll probably liquefy your kidney. And now the fun one, poor Beal. Okay, don't knock my memory card out again, man. <laughs> no promises. Still rolling. <laughs> that time. Did the second plate actually cause it to deviate, or...? Yeah, the second plate actually deviated the shot a little bit and made it going on an angle. But we still pierced. Okay, so it happened again. Now we're freehanding the camera. We're not going to use that stand anymore because apparently that's bad. John, All if right. you would please. Is, the axe is actually supporting its own weight. That's a good... Four, five inches of penetration, probably? Yeah, I mushroomed the tip a little bit. Oh, oh. Let's crap. see. A bit, not. Yeah. It's a lot more than a bit. Come on, focus. There we are. But it's not bad. Shot. Not bad at all. So. And definitely, like. Um, yeah, it went that far into the stump. Oh, Your grass. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Whoop. You went how far deep? Pretty much what you see at the ass end of this. Nice! About a full finger in. So you're looking like almost two inches. What is it with you and measuring with fingers? Or... I don't know. Okay, so now that the phone's done ringing and everything else is solved. Uh, okay, so yeah, no amount of saying I make this item whole again is going to fix that or the person behind it. All special where they went two inches deep. Next. Next we have the heavy gauge. Once again with your standard short-ish sword. And again you took out a single rivet. Nope, I spliced two rivets in half this time. Progress. You become more dangerous every swing. Those rabbits will never know what hit them. You say they have a split personality. And your stab did not even go through. That's because you stabbed another rivet. No, it stabbed right beside a rivet. <laughs> but no, it didn't even dish out this time. It didn't even pierce all the way through. 
Well, they're an extra third of a millimeter thicker, which is like an extra quarter when you do the math. We'll try the axe again, see if that one goes through. Two more rivets bite the dust. <laughs> so she cuts clean through the leather, nice and easy. But is... Cut through all the way, actually. Is the compression cut or did it drive the actual... I um... think the compression probably cut it. It looks like it kind of just drove the plates into the gamison. Okay. Stump look like. Compressed. Yeah. So it's just compression damage at that stage. Yeah, Still, it's not. It's not. Force is force. It's going to hurt you either way. Hmm. And the camera stayed online this time. Yay! So that is clean through <laughs> all layers. Let me get a shot of that there. It's a nice little mountain coming up. With four little points. That's awesome. Yep. So every time you move, those are going to cut in even more. Yep. Line that up again all nice. Just put it in the hole you created. Come on. <laughs> Try to find it. Not that easy, John. Well, granite is looking for a hole, apparently. Do you want to take a swing at it, too? Sure. That broad blade has to do something fierce to this. <laughs> and that ends the armor. Literally. Okay, well, that... that uh, do we have any plates left on that larger half there? You yeah, have got, like, six. Okay, John, can you take a swing at those with the spike, just... Okay, yeah. For the sake of equality. Even with a mushroom tip, that's still... <laughs> <laughs> it's right of mass. Just... <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, yeah. Does this count as like a two-for-one shot of special? <laughs> Apparently. Now, I would have had to... Where's that plate? I must have... You knocked the plate clean off by the looks of it. Did... Unless... Wait, no. Unless it went like that. Wait, no. Yeah, the slice was there. Yeah, I went right through the leather and tore it apart. Yeah. Just... How, are, how are the plates actually looking on that cut line? The plates are fine. Line. They the just didn't survive. slightly... In cove, so that's about it. Like, there's a slight groove in them, but no cut, no damage. Nice. I just slice the leather clean in half. And I think you're missing a few rivets. A few. <laughs> they were they weren't destined to survive. All right. Well. So once again, we have killed two pieces of armor and this poor stump. Wait! 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 Mm -hmm. Oh. Just for fun. So let's see if he can do it. Oh yeah, just one too. The other one's bounced off, but How, how's the tip on that axe? <laughs> Is it blunted? It's still straight. It's blunted. So oh, wait, it's fixable. The armor it's itself, not itself tore apart. The armor itself, because <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. It still feel it. Okay, so <laughs> even with some of the better armors that John has, we don't... Sorry, so with some of the better armors we make, we don't want to go near any of the axes John has. Yes. And he still has to, you know, shiny it up and uh, make it sharper. And quench harden. Yeah, but yeah. It will kill. <laughs> Quiet, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for coming out, and have a great evening.